Hello everyone, this is Mike Austin of Vectology. I'm here on behalf of Vector Toots Plus. I'm going to show you guys a quick tip on how to make a rocket in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, the first thing you're going to do here is grab your ellipse tool. That's going to be L on your keyboard. Make an oval, like so. I'm going to blunt the tip of this. Well, actually, I'm going to grab this one real quick here. I'm going to grab this shape, bring this all the way up like so. Flatten this part out a little bit more. Flatten this part out. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to make a point here. I'm going to go around, around this area, another flat here. I'm going to bring this point up flat there so we can get a nice flat edge here. Next, I'm going to point off this little area right here. So I'm going to grab the shape up, pull this arrow down, take my pen tool. I'm going to hold down Alt using Windows. So Alt is going to be the one. Okay, now I'm going to make one more shape to fit here. So I'm going to grab my ellipse tool again, grab this shape right there, take these two shapes. I'm going to center them, Pathfinder tool, make one shape. Next, I'm going to delete this part of the shape right here. I'm going to grab this part, delete it there, delete there. And there we go. I'm going to select this point there, make that straight as well. So I can get a nice little concave, nice little round shape there, kind of squared off at the tip right here. Same thing as well there. I'm going to now color this grayish color there. Now I'm going to select my um, rectangle tool. I'm going to make a strip right here, like so. I'm going to color this one red. I'm going to take my warp tool. I'm going to make an arch. Bend this the opposite way. Go back a little bit. I'm going to go vertical with that. Let's go horizontal better. Like so. Take the shape right here. I'm going to go object and we'll start, expand, take the two shapes here, control alt drag out. I'm going to use the intersect to bring that in, delete this shape here. I'm going to bring this shape just like that in there. Okay. Delete the paths in this one. Don't really need them. So, okay. Now I'm going to make the actual tail. Grab the star tool. Set that to three. Okay. You have a tiny little triangle there, but make that a little bit bigger. And tie the shape to this part right here, like so. Bring that in a little bit. Okay. Next, we're gonna drag this one in there. Okay. Now we got our little the wings to it, and now we're gonna add some shading to this really quick so we can finish it up. Okay. Next, we're gonna do we're gonna grab make a circle here in case we're working on the actual gradients here let's go ahead and grab our first can actually before we do that let's go ahead and turn this black let's grab our gradient mesh tool U let's make this to an actual circle make it white and I'm going to take this shape here I'm going to make this black I'm going to cut this off a little bit more just to make sure you get it on there correctly because it'll, you know. The reason why I'm not using linear gradients is because you can't move them. You can't manipulate them with warp tools or whatever, so they're kind of stagnant when you get finished with them. So let's go ahead and go screen with this one right here. I'm going to move that there. And now I'm going to take the warp tool, Shift R. I'm going to fix that really quick. Let's make that. Um, zero so we get a nice little clean edge there nice and straight let's go ahead and make sure that matches up with the actual shape of the rocket here make a copy of that I'm gonna bring this around this way make sure that kind of fits a lot better 
Now we're going to be masking these off later on. So for now, I'm going to grab a shape of this really quick. I'm going to make a copy of that, put that to the side there because that's going to be our masking shape. I'm going to take the shape over here that I have. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to hold shift and drag. Let's bring that back into position. Let's fix that right there. There we go. Now, nice little, nice little highlights to that. Now I'm going to bring these down to about maybe 70%, so they're not so bright. I'm going to bring this shape actually a little bit out more to the edge, like so. I'm going to bring this shape a little bit closer to like this. Very nice. So we get those nice three gradients. I'm going to group those together, drag them over to the same position over here, like so. Send them to back, control shift bracket, left bracket actually, object, clipping mask, make, and there we go. Let's go ahead and modify this a little bit in there. Make sure those are all the way out. Very nice. Now we have our shape. Put that back in position there. Now let's go ahead and work on some more gradients in here. I'm going to go ahead and take a wing tip here. I'm going to drag one out. I'm going to select both of them, drag both of them out. I'm going to take my Pathfinder tool, knock that shape out of there. Drag this here, like so. Gradient, we already had there. Set this one to screen, so we'll knock out that black. Same thing here, let's drag that copy out there. Let's flip this. Bring to front, shift control, right bracket. Okay, now we have that shape, but we need one more here, so we're gonna add that really quick. I'm gonna select that shape we had before, the triangle, to get the color. I'm gonna fib it a little bit with the actual shape of this, because you don't it doesn't really have that shape on the other side, but I want some depth to be sitting in there. So I'm gonna grab these two shapes. This one right here. Okay, I'm going to go back and drag these out. Select these two shapes. Control Shift Command J. Bring them both together. Like so. Make this a little bit closer there because they're kind of. There we go. Take these two shapes here. Pathfinder tool again. Bring them both together. Now let's sit that. Right there, it's about, it's about good right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on actually coloring in this shape. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my gr pen tool, make a gr simple, simple gradient there. I'm gonna pull that out, bring this one forward here. Make that to screen, like so. So you can get a nice little shape in there. What we're going to do now is going to bring the shape up to fit under here. And this part right here is going to be our shadow area for that. So let's go ahead and start cutting this in. Let's grab the scissors tool right here. And there we have it separated from there. Bring this opacity down to about 20%. Control Alt Drag. Nice little gradient there. Let's bring the shape closer to the edge. There you go. And I have a I have a picture of how I want this to go in my mind for the most part, but sometimes you know you want to change things, so I just kind of see what looks best. And now I'm gonna add a gradient to this red here to make sure it looks matches the way the chrome looks on the, the missile head. Grab my gradient tool, grab this red, drop it in here, put that in here like so. All right, that matches pretty well. Looks pretty good there. Okay, we have come to the end of our tutorial. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Again, I am Mike Austin with Vectology. I'm here on behalf of Vector Tits Plus, and thank you very much for watching.